Hey everybody, welcome to the Liquid Lunch episode number three. Uh, I'm Pat Quinney, your host. I was told not to say um so much, so I'm going to try and not say um so much. As always, I'm joined by Level 6 owner, founder, Stig co-founder. Larson. Stig um, Larson. Uh, um, <laughs> you remember yes. your name? Yeah, I'm um, Stig. Uh, so Stig is here, and today we are discussing how to choose a paddling top. Um, we tried to have a guest, just fell through, uh, and we're in the midst of some traveling, in between some yep. traveling, so that's why we're recording a little earlier than we usually do. Um, and yeah, so we came up with our, our how to choose a paddling top. But before we get into our topic, Whitewater Brewery, as always, supplying Again, us with yep. the beer. Um, really awesome brewery. If you like beer, if you like delicious beer, uh, go check them out on their website. You can find them at LCBOs. You can find them at the beer store. You can even order direct from them. They'll deliver to your front door. They have a beer delivery service like the Milkman, mm-hmm. except the Beer Man or Woman. And if you're in an area that they don't deliver, I mean, and we're going to be there, just hit us up and say, hey, I would love to try this or that type of beer. Yeah. We'll put it in the van and we'll meet you somewhere on the road and we can give you some. So today we're drinking the Astrolabe IPA. You pronounced that correctly. I did. Uh, a lot of people say Astrolab. It's Astrolabe. It's uh, yeah. named after the uh, navigation mm-hmm. tool, oh, the yes. um, nautical navigation tool. Used to find latitude. Wow. Did you know that? Nope. I do now. That's because you're not smart. I'm the least smart in this room fits. right now. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Episode Thanks again, three. Whitewater Brewery. Mm. Yeah, that one's delicious. It's good. Hoppy? Hoppy. It's an IPA. But we'll do a review. We'll, we'll give you the full uh, verdict at the end. News. Lots Let's of news. Let's get into some news. Lots of news. So, um, right now we have our Canoe Sweepstakes going on. So, let's yep. just jump right into that. We've got a bunch of great partners. So, you can go on our website. Uh, I think Jesse's putting it up on the screen right now. Uh, so, from us, you can win, a, if you sign up for this, you can win a full package. But from level six, what you're getting is a Nahani jacket, the Tamagami pants, barrel harness, a 60 liter barrel, yep. and a yoke, yoke pad. pad. Yep. Uh, we've geared or we've um, teamed up with Gear Aid. They're donating a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to list it all because there's there's lots of items in here. Uh, and then Night Eyes as well. We've got Watershed Dry Bags on there. Yep. Jet Boil. And then we partnered up with uh, uh, Salus as well. Yes. Um, and two other, um, they're not businesses, but they're two talented individuals. So. Um, first we signed, or we, um, partnered up with Kevin Callen, who, I, mean, he, I guess it is, he is a business. I mean, he yeah. does a speaking tour. He writes these really fun, quirky books about canoe tripping. I mean, his latest one, um, once, once around, around Algonquin yep. is, you get tons of wicked reviews on it. Mm-hmm. Um, he gave us a signed copy. So the winner gets a signed copy from Kevin Callen. And then the, a really beautiful prize from uh, Andrew Zito. He created a recycled skateboard yes. um, paddle, canoe paddle. So I'm gonna grab it off the wall here so we can show it to you guys. Get this into focus. Yes. So there's a beautiful paddle. All made, all this multicolor stuff is all uh, recycled skateboards. Uh, really interesting, Andrew Zito's a really interesting cat. Yep. Pro skateboarder, woodworker, um, just all around artistic person. Building a super cool uh, A-frame cabin right now, all by hand, climbing walls inside. You should get, follow him on uh, Instagram, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, he's just up to a lot of cool things. Uh, so yeah, we've teamed up with all those great companies. They've all um, donated a bunch of gear, Yep. Um, and it's just an awesome package. So go sign up, it's up on the, um, on the uh, screen right now. Um, Salas, did you want to say yeah, a few words like, about Salas? It's funny because I've been using my old slalom racing equipment, my slalom racing PFD, and I've been crushing some laps in the morning Ooh. with a couple of staff and the, and the mighty rivers here. And uh, one morning, I totally classic Stig Larson shows up the river without a PFD, forgot it at home. Classic. 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 So Kevin, our project manager, happened to have a Salus uh, Jazz PFD. He was like, try this. Honestly, the most comfortable PFD I have ever used in my life. Nice. Like, it is that good. So yeah. um, free shout out to Salus, that, that PFD, the Jazz. If you guys are looking for a PFD, um, a new PFD, low profile, tons of um, adjustment on the inside, 
the jazz is the way to go. Yeah, anyway. another Canadian company. Another Canadian company. And yeah. I don't know, it's just, it's. I usually don't do this, but honestly, it's, it's so good that I actually wrote Steve going, this is the coolest PFD I've ever tried. So cheers, Salas. Cheers, Salas. Yeah. So good, good company. Excellent. And then the next thing we need to get up uh, or talk about is the King of the Alps. Yes. You. Yeah. Get to go to jet plane. Get to go to Italy. So um, we're we're really expanding in the European market. Yep. You're going to see product hitting the shelves soon, right? And within yep. the next couple of weeks, it's going to be next couple of days. We couple of days. There we, we go. We have our we opened up a warehouse in the Netherlands last fall, level six incorporated in Europe, and we are able to we are now our own broker system. So what we do is we we are now. Pro- What's going on here? I don't know. There's a lot. Recording live. Just recording live. Not a big deal. (laughs) No big deal. That's not important. Just interrupt us. Yeah. Uh, Yes. So level six now is we are legit in Europe. Our pricing is even across the board. We've cut out a lot of our distributors and now we are managing our own growth. And with that, it's a bit more work, of course, but um, we kind of anchored with the King of the Alps race uh, when I was at a trade show last fall, Paddle Expo. I got to meet the two founders of this event, amazing people, and uh, I knew right away that that was the event we had to um, become the title sponsor of. Mm-hmm. So we have a th- uh, multi-year contract with them. Uh, you'll see level six on the bibs, the tents, the flags, and I'm flying there on uh, June 5th. And you say, so it's in Murano, Italy? Murano, Italy, where I used to race slalom, Yeah, my favorite favorite cities and my favorite World Cup sites. Cool. Um, still a totally natural river. Uh, you like it. It's a lot like the you know, the, the BC kind of river running. Yeah, where Boulder it's Gardens. Boulder Gardens, mm-hmm. beautiful glacier fed. It can be class two, three, or it can be like a heavy class five. Cool. So what's nice with the King of the Alps is that how the river comes down is there's a section for beginners, a section for like the pros, and a section for the old masters. Yeah, which is rare because I find a lot of uh, events these days are either... Um, a, a hardcore, mm-hmm. you know, um, class five event where only the best top paddlers can show up. Yep. Uh, or it's, you know, just there's no in between. It's either a beginner or uh, an extreme race. Yep. So it's nice to have the full range of paddlers and skill sets. And there's something there for everyone. So for sure. please, uh, if you're in Europe, if you're in Italy, if you want to travel to Italy, uh, go check it out. Yep. Hopefully I can go next year. Yes. <laughs> and even on that, I mean, even on that whole, like, what's going on with Level 6, we also hired a European sales manager. Yes, Ben. Ben Campbell. Ben Campbell. Um, so you'll see him in his van. Yep. He's got a van with big Level 6 logo on it. So if you see him, say hi. Yep. Uh, you'll see Stig at the festival, so please come say hi to Stig. Yep. Uh, give him some high fives or beer. Um, yes. We'll have stickers and hats, hats and all that custom, stuff. We did a ton of custom swag for King of the Alps. Like, yeah, anyway, it's going to be it. super cool. Cool. Sweet. What about you? You're, uh, you're. I'm hitting the road uh, next Wednesday. I'm all over southern Ontario. I get down to Detroit. Uh, I'm gonna go do a clinic there mm-hmm. with some uh, staff at a store, and then I'm gonna travel all over uh, Ontario on my way back, just spreading the good word uh, about level six. And then I think a couple weeks off, and then Vancouver. We're mm-hmm. we're kind of it's peak season for us here. We're burning the candle at both ends. Yep. Um, but that's just the nature of the beast when. Our season is a lot shorter. Yes. Um, we don't have ski stuff to get us going through the whole year, but um, it is fun. Yep. So you'll see me in the van if you're in Southern Ontario and you see uh, we've got a, a brand new Sprinter van with our logo on it. So if you see it, give yep. us a honk. Um, yeah, cool. Moving on. Let's get into it. Choosing uh, our theme today or our topic today is choosing a long sleeve paddling top. So right now, dry suits are starting to go away. We're starting to get that warmer weather. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's still not quite warm enough for the water. Definitely isn't warm enough where you can just go um, with a, a regular just sun protection top or no no um, waterproof breathable membrane. Yep. Uh, right now in the Ottawa, there's still a ban on the river yeah. uh, because super the, crazy flooding here. Yeah, yeah, which is uh, unfortunate. I know a lot of people are itching to get out paddling, but there's a bunch of other rivers that people yep. can get out on the Rouge, the Petawawa. Um So now we're gonna talk about choosing long sleeve paddling top. And we're not yeah. just going to limit it to um, one specific uh, discipline. We're yeah. going to go through our whole range of long sleeve paddling tops here. So we'll start with rec, sit yeah. on top, canoeing, and kayak fishing. That's kind of, yeah. we've got jackets that kind of fall within that, that realm. 
Um, and certainly when we're talking about these jackets and we categorize them, they're not just limited to those sports. So. Right. And we also don't, we, we don't do a good, better, best necessarily at level six. We kind of do like the best for that style of, of boating or that, that type of activity you're doing. So we don't do four jackets in the hardcore sea kayaking. We do, we do one and it is the best yeah. at everything it does. Um, before we get into... God, jump the gun. Sorry. Before we get into actual yeah. specific paddling jackets that we want to talk about exhaust. Yes. Um, so exhaust is our proprietary waterproof breathable membrane. For those of you that don't know, there is a uh, learn page on level6.com. You can check that mm -hmm. out. Uh, there's an awesome video that breaks it down, hosted by yours truly. <laughs> um, and then there's also a blog on how it works. Uh, but essentially, it's a waterproof breathable membrane, Teflon yep. membrane. Yep. Um, and we've got a bunch of different thicknesses. So you yes. want to kind of walk us through that? I yes. see you have some samples. I brought swatches yeah. for everyone here to see. So there's a couple of different ways of making water breathables. And I know we've talked about it briefly before. There's, but we're going to go with like the basis of coatings versus uh, laminates. We do laminates. Mm -hmm. Gore is a laminate. Teflon membrane. Uh, the reason why we use laminates versus coatings, a lot more consistent. Uh, we find them a lot more abrasion resistant, a yep. lot more durable, which is a key factor in paddle sports. But lots of companies do different things. Over our 22 years of experience, we've 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 stuck with um, a laminate like Gore. So within that um, within that range of fabrics, and I'll focus these in on the camera in a second. There's there's kind of like there's the lightweight versions, and then there's heavyweight versions. Uh, of course, the lightweight fabrics are better for you know for lighter weight activities. You more compressible, uh, less restrictive, if you will, like less bulk to it. Yeah. So lighter weight material, like in terms of a um, climate, we would say humid, hot areas, you'd use the lighter weight material. Yeah, I mean the membrane certainly can breathe equally throughout, but generally um, uh, a thinner fabric tends to breathe better, mm -hmm. um, less restriction on the on the surface of the face fabric, but um yes yes lighter fabrics you don't you don't need that heavy you know you need that heavy bulk that we get in a super hot climate however if you're in a really hot climate lots of boulder gardens cold water you could certainly use a heavier weight fabric mm -hmm. just for durability so um we can start with number one we we do a two and a half ply and uh, ultralight a two and a half ply we'll call it regular then we have our three ply uh we don't do a two ply a two ply fabric. So if you look at this, you can kind of see. This is a two ply fabric. This is our ultralight fabric. You can see on the inside. Can you see that, Jesse? Can all the viewers see that? Is that there? Yeah. Okay. Good. So that is. This is a two and a half ply. The we print on a, a topographical print on that. That's actually the 0.5 ply of it. And what that does is it allows. Um, the memory to protect it from abrasion from the inside your your when you're paddling your life jacket is binding with your underarms it doesn't wear away at the membrane we don't do a regular two ply uh we just find that it doesn't hold up to paddle sports but a regular two ply what it would look like it's basically this fabric without the printing on the inside to protect mm -hmm. the membrane um it's way cheaper to do a two ply versus two and a half ply uh it's, i don't think it has a place in regular paddle sports so two and a half ply ultra light uh, we won an award for this in yep. Europe two years ago. We developed this fabric by ourselves. Well, not by ourselves, but in conjunction with a weaving mill. Uh, it took us almost two years to develop it. And the idea was was to take our regular two-ply fabric that we use, and we've used it for years. Um, you can still see it's a regular two-ply, two, sorry, two-and-a-half-ply. Um, the face fabric on this is your classic kind of ripstop. The face fabric on this is 30% lighter than this, but it has the same abrasion resistance. So the idea with this is you can get a, a garment that is uh, can take the same abuse as this fabric, but it's a lot lighter, uh, it's a lot less or a lot less restrictive when you're paddling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, a, that's one of the things that uh, I think Level 6, we're one of the only companies doing it where we blend fabrics together. Yep. So a lot of our paddling tops have the ultralight uh, material as well as just the regular two and a half ply material yeah. and the reason being is we put the ultralight material in uh, areas where you're gonna have bunching underneath your life jacket um, and, and you need that extra compressibility extra light it's like, like an accordion inside you correct that, that crazy bunching yeah and then 
we have the the um, regular two and a half by on high wear areas because yeah. uh, when you're in the store you feel that material yeah it's 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 got some some thickness to it some abrasion yeah. resistance to it so yeah. uh, we'll highlight that we'll show you um, on, on our jackets here shortly um, well let's stay, keep going and, and then the last one is yeah. our three ply this is we've been using this for oh, I don't know 15 16 years certainly many iterations of this as new technologies come out we've learned how to play with the shear strength of it the tear strength. Um, which allows the membrane to bond better, but this is our top end three ply fabric. What makes it three ply, I can see on the inside, it's a full inner scrim, it's called. So you've got the outer face fabric, you've got the membrane, which makes it waterproof breathable, and you have the inner scrim. Um, this inner scrim really protects the membrane from abrasion, um, wear and tear, and then of course you beef up the outer fabric as well, because generally people who use this type of fabric are in you know, situations like creaking or, you know, extreme sea kayaking where there's a lot of, uh, a lot of abuse on the garment. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah. just, it just adds up to more abuse. Yeah. And uh, definitely designed for colder climates as well. Um, you know, you'd, our dry suits, for example, all come with, mo actually, yeah, pretty much every single one comes with three ply, I think. Yeah. Um, and the reason being is that you're, you're using the dry suit in a colder climate, yeah. colder water. Um, you know, in December, February. Um, yeah, it can, just in case, you know, even yeah. a safety thing, you, know, you you're, want that fabric to yeah. really be beefy and hold up. Totally. So those are kind of, that's kind of the overview of the three fabrics. Yeah, so that's exhaust. So now let's just start talking about paddling top. So I'm going to grab the first top here. Yeah. I'll let you hold one and I'll hold the other. All right, so here we have our new for 2019 Aurelia and Niagara. So it's a this is the Niagara for men, and then we have the Aurelia for women. The really it's the same jacket. The difference is the cut in the shape of it. Yeah. Uh, same material. So this is a jacket completely constructed from our two and a half ply ultralight material. Yeah. Uh, so really great for uh, humid uh, climates. Uh, it packs up nice Super and small. Super compressible. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you know this would be something you'd wear if you're paddling in Florida and where it's you know where it's quite humid, but you want to keep the splash and the water off you so you don't get out of your boat soaked. Um, features here is you have a, a, a fleece line collar. We've also got um, a drawstring uh, at, the, at the waist, as well as um, a coated lycra cuff. Yeah. Uh, and that keeps all the water and stuff. So it is a very high functioning paddling jacket. Entry level yeah. is, is where I would put this. Uh, so if you're a sit on top rec paddler, or if you're looking for a cheap alternative before a canoe trip and you can't drop a bunch of money on a, on a um, uh, brand new jacket. Yep. You could go with the, the Niagara or the Aurelia, a uh, very cost effective way of doing it and uh, performs like a paddling jacket. Yeah, and, and really the big, one of the big differences is the no neck seal. So I mean, if you flipped over, if you're gonna, if you're gonna roll over and come back up, I mean, there's no way this garment would keep water from coming into your boat. Yeah. So it's, it's if either you're canoeing or rec sea kayaking or sit, sit on, on top, top. Yep. even kayak fishing, uh, where well, you know you're not going to flip over, you're going to swim, this is the perfect top yeah. for that. Water breathable. Um, it has the the uh, neoprene or the PU coated Lycra wrist closures. So when you're paddling, you don't have all that dripping coming down your wrist, totally. which is super comfortable. Yeah. So I'll hang these up and we'll move <clears throat> on to the next top. Um, so here we have our Baffin long sleeve paddling top. So now we get into uh, a little bit more of a robust jacket. So uh, this actually has the, the big difference is it's blending two fabrics. So as I mentioned before, we're one of the only companies blending fabrics uh, in particular paddling tops. So we have our two and a half by ultralight and the torso. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to be wearing our life jacket here. There's, there can be some bunching. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're using the most compressible lightweight fabric yeah. possible. You also want that you know, added breathability uh, because again, it's an area where you have more coverage. Uh, and then on the shoulders in the lighter um, orange or red, mm -hmm. depending on how your eyes work, uh, we've got a regular two and a half ply material. Uh, and then the big difference, we've got a neoprene closure at the top. Yeah. So again, this is a, just a more robust splash jacket. Yeah, and then a real neoprene tunnel closure as well. So if, you, if you're wearing a spray skirt and you flipped over in this and you roll back up, yeah, water is going to come in there compared to like our Australis Borealis or mm -hmm. our, our dry top series of latex. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, going to keep most of the water out. Yeah. And the benefit to this, if you don't like latex, you can open this up and it's a pretty solid gusset so it can really be uh, breathing through on those hot days or if you, don't, if you don't like stuff around your neck. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. 
So that's the baffin. Um, Comes in a couple different colors. Yeah, we have. I didn't bring out all the colors because we'd be here for a long time. Again, another his and hers. So we've got the Ellesmere, which is what Stig's holding, and then we've got the Torngat, which is what I'm holding. Um, once again, we're blending fabrics. This is actually probably one of our best-selling jackets. Yeah. Uh, you can find it basically anywhere that we sell mm -hmm. uh, products. Most people carry this jacket. Uh, now, this is a really versatile jacket, so again, two and a half.